folks, we're here on the opening night of our Making Waves Hong Kong season for opening night gala of Cyber House, and I'm here with our festival director, Gronya Humphreys. Why do you think it's important to have foreign language films shown in Dublin? I mean, to my mind, one of the things that's really interesting about growing up and living in Ireland is how we are completely focused around English language material and content. We're, we're literally between the UK and the US, and, and as a result, we don't generally, even across our national broadcaster, used to getting multiple languages, perspectives. Um, we're even sometimes Eurocentric. I mean, actually, it's difficult to actually even think of the last time there was a focus on a particular Asian country. If anyone's into, into films at all, it just kind of exposes you to new filmmaking languages and if you're into films or into filmmaking then uh, you'll find that when you think about when you think about making your own films you'll start thinking about angles or like narrative kind of techniques that you wouldn't have thought of before which broadens your mind a little bit you know Hong Kong movies and Hong Kong um, filmmakers actually they shaped over the years since since uh, Wonka Wai since the 80s late 80s really shaped the way of filmmaking in the world. So they are bringing new narratives, new way of understanding things, new way of telling things, different way of telling things. And I think they really connect with an audience in Dublin. It broadens the perspective of the people, uh, enriches the conversation, and of course it's important for people, homegrown filmmakers in the country, they have other things to see and aspire to too. A small season like this gives an opportunity for the you know, filmmakers of the future and the audiences of the future to see what's happening outside of Ireland. And you know we can only just build on that, and then it fits in as part of the festival. What makes it special about going to a film festival as opposed to just one of the movies? It's not only going to see a movie, it's really the whole immersive experience of living another life on the screen, talking about it later on with your friends and companies and your fellow familiars and, and of course it's something that really enriches your life in the sense of it sparks conversation around what is life apart from being you know, in Dublin because there are many subtle threats that actually intertwine the whole world. So actually we're all, everything is connected to everything else. Mm -hmm. And Dublin's a very connected city and I really think adds super flavor to the city. You know, we forget sometimes that cinema is not just an industry, it's not just box office, it's not just about A-listers. It's actually about these amazing uh, artists from around the world who make these incredible stories and we get an opportunity to show them over 11 days and this is really the time when you can dip your toe in and see you know, films from Norway or from Nigeria but also you can see how Irish cinema rates and one of the great things is the opportunity to see Irish cinema against or beside their international counterparts. So what you're saying is, come join the Big Mad Gang at Dublin International Film Festival 2024. Come join the party, absolutely.